Have you ever wondered how to put your files into the decentralized wonderland that is IPFS? Well, today is your lucky day. Let's unravel the mystery of uploading files to IPFS using Pinata. Hello again, Lindsay here, back with another episode of our IPFS 101 series. Picture this. You have a piece of beautiful digital art and you want the world to see it decentralized style. Uploading to IPFS is your first step and Pinata gives you multiple ways of doing it, whether you're a seasoned developer or just a tech enthusiast. For all my developers out there, we have the Pinata API as well as various SDKs. Look at this nifty piece of code. With just a few lines, you can securely send your files into the IPFS ecosystem. And for those who just prefer command lines or working with frameworks, there's the Pinata CLI and the Next.js starter. Just input your API keys and you're good to go. But if coding isn't your jam, fear not, the Pinata web app lets you upload in a snap. Click, select, name, and voila. Your file is on IPFS. And what's cooler is if you've already got content on IPFS, Pinata lets you pull it over effortlessly. Be it from your local node or another service, bring it on to Pinata's Embrace. And for those who love precision, you can also pin specific content by its CID using a neat API endpoint. Just provide the CID and let Pinata handle the rest. So there you have it. Whether you're a tech guru or just wanting to dip your toes into the decentralized realm, Pinata has got you covered from end to end. If you're excited to explore more about the world of decentralization, give that subscribe and like button some love, and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our IPFS 101 series. But until next time, this is Lindsay signing off, encouraging you to stay curious and happy pinning. Bye guys.